Hey there everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now uh, this is completely a separate video, not at all uh, included in the Android series or maybe whatever we are talking here. It's completely different and it just came to my mind that I should share this information with you. Now many times uh, if you're working just like me for with a lot of web apps right now, I'm working on a React but doesn't uh, don't get scared of that. Uh, what I want to talk about is many times while uh, coding on JavaScript or HTML, there are tons of things which are there and you just have to write them again and again. For example, one good example would be, let's just say if I write uh, something like uh, console.log uh, and thereafter I write a lot of things in here. Now it's a good thing. Obviously logging out a lot of things on the console is good, but let's say you have to, uh, for the teaching purposes or maybe for your own personal purposes, you have to write this quite a number of times. So writing this much of the things, console.log, console.log is not a good idea. So what I want to talk about is in the Atom, which is a good editor, I'll talk about that in a second, you can actually write some code snippets, uh, just a couple of words, and as soon as you will hit the tab, it will expand to whatever you want to be. For example, I'll just write uh, CO for CON for console and I'll hit the tab and it will automatically fill the things like console log. Now just like you might have seen the things uh, in the Emmet. So for example, uh, if I create simply a new file there and uh, I just save that with, uh, let's just save that for uh, some.html and I save that and notice when I hit an exclamation and hit the tab key, it automatically fills up the things for me. Now I don't have to write this much amount of the code uh, because this is just a boilerplate code and uh, writing that again and again doesn't really make sense. So I like the things to be much more shortened for myself. And the editor that I'm using for this purpose is the Atom. In case you don't know what the Atom is, Atom is uh, really a nice editor. You can find it at atom.io. Now, I was a big fan of brackets, but suddenly the Adobe guys have started to slow down the progress in the brackets. So I've switched on to the Atom. I liked it. In fact, I liked it better than the uh, brackets because it's completely hackable. By hackable, I don't uh, mean to say that it's vulnerable to SQL injection or so. It's hackable because uh, you can just uh, customize it the way you want it. For example, I have customized it uh, with the terminal console because I work a lot with the console. So I can just uh, turn on this can log on into my console and can work out with it. Apart from that, I have also customized a little bit in the color scheme there, so I like it. It's completely hackable. So now coming back on to the file that I was working, it was a simple, uh, just a boilerplate code for our React application that I was working on. So what I wanted to do is I had to write this constructor here. Now this constructor, is actually just a couple of lines, but it's a complete pain for me. So I want it to be some kind of hack there so that I can just write a couple of words there and voila, it just automatically fills up the boilerplate code for me and just put directly cursor in this place. So that's completely possible in the Atom. Let me show you quickly how it can be done. Go to your Atom and click on your snippets. For the Windows, it might be uh, into your uh, preferences and snippets, but for me, it's in the Atom and snippets. I know the color is not the best in the world to be for the readable purpose, but I'll try my best to just give you a quick example. So in that you will find this snippet there and uh, this snippet is actually responsible for coding out the snippets. So let me just copy this, command C is gonna be for me. And let's go back there and just onto some fill up spaces, I'll just paste this, so command V and I'll press uh, control and slash to just uncomment them quickly. So how do you write that? It's really simple. First of all, let's try to uh, write the things for the console.log and uh, then you will get an idea about that and then we'll write a constructor snippet as well. So first of all, it says source.coffee. Now whatever your source is, just write here. For example, if you are working for SAS, then you can write a .sas. I'm gonna be working with the JS, I can write JS there. Now it's for the console log. This is completely for you, what purpose you are writing your snippet there. Now prefix in this case is log, it's completely fine. And the body of the console is gonna be console.log and it puts a cursor there. I don't like the cursor to be there. So $1 is the first place where cursor is gonna be. I would like to just delete that and I'll put a pair of parentheses there and I'll write a $1 there. Now $1 is the first place where, where your cursor goes when you hit the tab. Now, for example, if I just uh, put another, just, just for the demo purposes, I put a $2 there and I save this file, 
make sure there are no errors there uh, the cursor will jump on to the second parenthesis so i save that go back here and i like i write log there and i hit the tab key notice the cursor is right now blinking uh, in the first pair of parentheses there as soon as i hit the tab key it just jump into the second pair of parentheses so that's how the dollar sign works pretty nice pretty easy uh, let's just get back to the syntax i don't want it to be there so this is the console log uh, this is quite useful now let's copy and paste that again because the goal was to write the react constructor is uh, there so in this case again dot source dot js is fine for me and i like to write it for constructor and there we go i would like to add this as well so constructor this is for generating the quick constructor for my props there uh, in the react in case you don't know what that is completely okay just i'm telling you how to write the prefix there so in this prefix i like to write as con for constructor there make sure your, your prefix uh, doesn't actually conflict with one one another there so that's the thing that you need to worry about now in my case uh, it's not going to be just one liner so it's going to be a multiple liner so i'll add a triple quote there and i'll hit enter there make sure you indent it a little bit it's good for reading purposes at least and i'll go back there and i'll just cut this constructor you can copy that as well no problem and i'll go back here and i'll paste that here and also i would like to place a dollar one there because i want my cursor to be blinking inside so that i can uh, manipulate the state of the props again don't worry okay that sounds nice and there we go we are done completely ready for that let's go into the app.js and whenever you need a constructor i can just type con hit tab there we go saves a ton of time for me now i do write a lot of prefix when i work uh, recently i've switched into the react.js we are working on to a tons of project on the react and uh, this this is really nice and i'm starting to like the react quite a lot and for sure in the later on videos we'll talk about the reacts for sure it's really nice but right now you have learned how to go for the snippets again it's atom click on the snippets and then go to the snippets.season it's a season file kind of a brother of the json and uh, you got a sample snippet there make sure you forget you don't forget to uh, remove these hashes there this makes that everything into the comment and uh, write as many season extensions or prefix as many you want save a lot of time that's why the atom was made there it's completely hackable and hack it as much as you wish to.